In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the least common multiple. The least common multiple of two or more natural numbers is the smallest natural number that is divisible by all of the numbers. And we use this technique quite a lot when we're finding the lowest common denominator when it comes to adding and subtracting fractions. Let's start with question number one. We have to find the least common multiple of 144 and 300. I'll show you two methods to doing this. The first method involves writing out the numbers 144 and 300 horizontally, like this. Once you've written your numbers, you want to find a prime number that is equally divisible into both. And you can start with 2, because 2 is divisible by both of these numbers, they're both even. But a better option would be 3. And how do I know that both of these numbers are divisible by 3? Well, if you add 1, 4, and 4, you end up with 9. That's divisible by 3. And so is 3 plus 0 plus 0, 3. So I know for a fact that both of these are divisible by 3. 3 is a prime number. Dividing 144 by 3, we end up with 48. And 300 divided by 3 is 100. Now, if you did not know that trick, you could have started with 2, and it doesn't change the outcome. 48 and 100 are divisible by 2. So this becomes 24, 50. Both of these are divisible by 2. That's a 12, 25. Neither of these are divisible by the same prime number, so we can break it down individually. 12 is divisible by 2, that becomes a 6. We'll leave that as 25. Again by 2, that's 3. Leave that as 25. 3 is only divisible by 3, that becomes a 1. And 25 isn't, so we'll write down 25 again. This is divisible by 5, and once again 5, and we're left with 1s. Therefore, the least common multiple for these two numbers are all of these numbers multiplied. So we'll multiply 3 times all of these 2's times 3 times 5 and times that last 5. Let's go ahead and do that. We have 5 times 5 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and one last 3. We end up with 3,600. Therefore, the least common multiple between these two numbers will represent as LCM is equal to 3,600. Now, you could have used a prime factorization tree for both, and I do have two videos dedicated to prime factorization trees. In case you're unfamiliar with it, we'll take the number 144 and divide it by prime factors. 3 and 48, 2 and 24, 2 and 12, 2 and 6, 2 and 3. So the prime factorization of 144 is 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2. It's important that you write this because we'll analyze this part in a moment. Now let's do 300. 300, I'll use the same format here, 3 and 100, 2 and 50, 2 and 25, 5 and 5. So we have the prime factorization of 300 is 2 to the power of 2, 3, and 5 to the power of 2. Now, we will look at these factors, and we'll choose the highest of the common factors. So we have 2 to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of 2. This is a higher exponent, so we'll take 2 to the power of 4 times, and now between these 3's, we have 3 to the power of 2. And comparing the 5's, We'll write down 5 to the power of 2 as well. There's no 5 over here, but this is the greatest, so you have to multiply it. Now, if I multiply 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2, this is equal to 16 times 9 times 25. I'll end up with 3,600, and you can check that on your calculator. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is a problem. A movie theater runs its films continuously. One movie runs 80 minutes, and a second runs every 120 minutes. Both movies begin at 4 p.m. When will the movies begin again at the same time? So it's up to you which method you want to use. I'm going to use this one. I'll write down 80 and 120. This one and this one are divisible by 2. This becomes 40, 60, again by 2, 20, 30, 10, 15, 2 again becomes 5, 15, 5, 1, 3, and we have 1 and 1 at the end. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 3. Let's use our calculator. 
16 times 5, because 2 to the power of 4, times 5, times 3, and we get 240. Let's interpret that. So they will run again in 240 minutes. 240 minutes divided by 60, we want to find out how many hours that is. 240 divided by 60 is equal to 4. So 4 hours from 4 p.m. They will run again at 8 p.m. And there you have it. That is how to find the least common multiple.